guys, what's up? My name is Kelsey and welcome back to my channel. Today it is an absolutely gorgeous spring day here on Long Island, so I decided to mix it up a little bit and uh, film outside for a change. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I am an interior designer and vegan and I make random videos about one or all or none of those very vague random topics. Before I get into today's video, I just want to briefly talk about me taking a very brief break from YouTube. I will not be posting for the next two or three weeks because I have some interior design certification exams to take and they are very important to my career and I'm starting to stress out a little bit and realizing that I should be spending my time studying rather than making random YouTube videos. So, hold on, the UPS truck is just mosing on by. So don't fret, this is temporary, I will be back. I just need to put my actual career first, not my fake internet career that, I mean, does, is non-existent at this point. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll know that I recently got back from a really short weekend vacation in Sarasota, Florida, where I was visiting one of my best friends, Nicole. I actually featured her in my last video, that was my birthday special. So I thought that that would be a great opportunity for me to make a video about some COVID safe travel tips that I've had. Um, I know that you're not really supposed to be traveling during COVID. Uh, I maybe I'm not the best example of this because I actually traveled like a decent bit during COVID, but I'm just gonna let you guys know how I've done that and some tips that I have if you wanna travel safely. Yeah, that's it. So I hope you enjoy my top 10 tips for traveling safe during COVID. Okay, this natural light is really not working for me. Unsure of how one films outdoors. Not there. All right, that should be fine. All right, bear with me. The sun's kind of going down a little bit. I don't really know what I'm trying to say. Okay, back to the script, Kelsey. <laughs> My first tip for traveling during COVID is to actually contract COVID. So then you have the antibodies and you'll be less nervous about traveling. I'm kidding. Please don't do that. My actual first tip is to not travel at all. The number one thing that you can do during COVID is to not travel at all. A, if you don't feel comfortable traveling, then you shouldn't travel. If you think you might have COVID or you think you are going to be visiting someone that might have COVID or has had COVID in the past, and you're probably thinking, Kelsey, the pandemic is not over. Why the fuck are you going to Florida? That is extremely irresponsible of you. Well, <laughs> let me tell you. My answer to that is you are 100% correct. I am a piece of shit. No one should be traveling at all, really. If you don't feel comfortable or or if you think you can live without your all-inclusive resort package in Tulum for just a couple more months, then just reschedule it. Most hotels and airlines are offering full refunds, so if you do end up wanting to change your travel plans and you don't feel comfortable going or you don't think it's responsible of you to go, then just postpone it. You don't need to worry about losing money on trips that you planned months or even years ago. The sun is really in my face. Do I have to keep changing location every tip? And this is why we don't film outside, folks. This is not a controlled environment. I'm also trespassing on private property, so. Now, for the rest of you who are actually watching this video because you're trying to travel during COVID and you don't care about the world and you think you're also an irresponsible piece of shit just like me, then these next tips are all for you. <laughs> when deciding where to take your trip, it is really important that you check local and federal guidelines. You might need a vaccine to travel to certain places. You might need a negative COVID test to travel certain places. You might not physically be able to travel to places that are on restricted lists, such as red zones or places that have a high spike in cases. Or if you're coming from a high risk place, those states might not let you in. Yes, mother? Yeah, I'll eat, I'll eat when I get back. That was the momager. Okay, how many more interruptions can we take during this video? It's fun. So yeah, check your state or local guidelines. For example, I live in New York and during the peak of the pandemic, we were allowed to travel to places like New Jersey, Connecticut, Vermont. Those are places relatively in the same geographical location as New York. Obviously, if if you have access to a map, you can, you can see that that is true. And you can go to those places safely without having a two week quarantine or a negative COVID test, yada, yada. Another thing that you might not have thought about is if there's any paperwork you need to fill out before traveling places. This is mostly for when you're traveling internationally. I know we can't really travel to Europe right now, but there are some countries that we are allowed to travel to. And even if you're going for business, a lot of the times we'll have certain paperwork that you need to fill out both for your home country or for the country that you're going to. Basically, these are just lists that say you have not been in contact with anyone, basically all of your information. This is really important for contact tracing. I've had to fill a couple of these papers out on previous trips I took last year in 2020. 20, so double check that. <laughs> Moose, where are we headed? Moosey, to the beach. Roof. Nicole, where are we headed? To the dog beach. 
All right, this was an anticlimactic intro. My third tip is to plan out a detailed itinerary. A lot of things are closed right now, so planning out a detailed itinerary is really gonna make sure that you have a more enjoyable trip. Research COVID safe activities, like outdoor activities, maybe outdoor tours, outdoor dining, maybe a museum that is running at half capacity. And yes, you can be the kind of person that doesn't like to plan out your trip and you just like to go and wing it and have fun. And you can totally do that if you are headed for a relaxing beach vacation, then no, you definitely don't need to plan out a full itinerary. But if you do plan to go out and explore the place that you're traveling to, you are going to be disappointed if you don't search ahead of time. Even places like special restaurants you wanna to go to, a lot of places are taking reservations and things are getting booked up so quickly these days. So even something as simple as making a dinner reservation or a tour reservation is really gonna make your trip flow a lot smoother and avoid you running into any speed bumps. And this is also a great way to support local businesses. Is this sun is fucking in my face. And it's also a great way to support local business, local restaurant. Oh, this is better actually, okay. Okay, what tip am I on? Tip number four, choose a safe housing location. If you're staying with a friend like I did, then it is totally acceptable and you should not be embarrassed about asking them if they're gonna quarantine before you come, if they've been exposed to anyone, or even just asking them about their quarantine habits in general. It's you being responsible, both for yourself and for your friend. And they might even ask you to quarantine for some time before you come visit them. Yes, you can stay at hotels, um, but I just always would feel more comfortable staying with someone who I actually know who they are. I kind of know what their quarantine habits or their ideology around COVID is, which makes me feel a lot more comfortable and I don't really know who's coming in and out of hotels. So I just always would recommend staying with someone that you trust or getting an Airbnb where you know that you are the only person coming in and out of that room or that house. If you do wanna stay at a hotel or if you have to stay at a hotel, call up the hotel and ask them what their COVID precautions have been. Are they doing extra cleanings? Are they providing sanitizing wipes? Are they providing hand sanitizers in all their lobbies? Are they also running at half capacity? Are they running at full capacity? You can definitely call these hotels and ask them what their COVID precautions are and what they're doing to ensure your safety during your stay. I already kind of mentioned this before, but my next tip is checking for cancellation and refund policies. Almost all hotels, resorts, airlines are giving full refunds if you've booked a trip up to a certain point in 2021. So if you do end up booking your trip and then you need to cancel it, more likely than not, you will be able to get a refund. But I would 100% double check this, not everyone is doing that. So just ensure that they have this refund policy before you book anything just to be safe. Even if you don't think that you're gonna cancel, I mean, stranger things have happened and they continue to happen. Next, call your airline and ask what kind of precautions that they're taking. I've been on flights in the past year where it was packed to the max. Like seriously, every single seat was taken up. And I've also been on flights where I've had six rows to myself. I would definitely not assume that every flight is going to have wiggle room. Most airlines have kind of nixed the rule where they're leaving the middle seat open. So more likely than not, you are going to be on a packed flight. If you don't feel comfortable with that, call your airline or maybe choose an airline that is still doing that social distancing precaution. Um, they do say on airlines that the air filtration system does circulate the air every couple of minutes. I don't really want to get too much into it because I am not an airplane scientist, but again, you can call your airline and they can give you more details on the precautions that they're taking. Tip number seven is if you don't feel comfortable flying, then consider alternate modes of transportation. Instead of flying, can you drive somewhere? Can you take a bus or a train? You know, a train might be significantly less packed than an airplane. This is also something to consider when you're planning on where you wanna take a trip to. If you know that you don't feel comfortable flying yet, then maybe planning a trip that is a little bit closer to home will allow you that flexibility of how you're gonna get there. It is. Here, just do a little like you're walking and then turn around. Break it down. Break it down. Now, 
Before you leave for your trip, these are a couple of tips I have for you. Get tested and quarantine before you leave. As of the time that I went online and researched this material, the CDC recommends that you get tested one to three days before your travel date. Look at people riding around in a like, like tractor mower. Hi. Hi, how are you? Good. That's an interesting cart. And this is why I can't get anything done. I just want to make it known that literally every person on Long Island has a pickup truck and I just, I just really don't get it because what are you picking up? The answer is nothing. <clears throat> Do not travel if you have any kind of symptoms, whether that be a cough, a cold, a sneeze, a scratch, literally any kind of symptom at this point can be a COVID symptom according to the internet. And I know when I had COVID at first I thought I was just having seasonal allergies. I thought I was just having a bad cold and it turns out I had COVID. So don't take this lightly if you have any symptoms at all please consider not traveling at all. Bring adequate supplies. This is not just important for your flight if you are taking a plane, but just in general to have with you during your trip. Get a proper mask and bring multiple. I know a lot of people like to wear the cloth masks, but, oh, hi. <laughs> I have an audience today. It's like someone sees a girl standing by herself with a camera and like everyone needs to flock to her. I guess I'm just that fabulous, what can I say? I know a lot of people like to wear the cloth masks they are a little bit more comfortable, but they do not work as well as the surgical masks. If you only have cloth masks, I would suggest doubling them up at minimum. What I will do is I will wear a cloth mask on my actual face because it is more comfortable and then I will take a surgical mask and I will layer that on top of it. I feel like the surgical mask is the actual thing that's going to repel any moisture and repel those nasty, nasty little germs. But it also gives that double layer of protection. And here are the, the tractor people that are coming back. You're better than golf carts, I enjoy it. <laughs> yeah, it's nice. I gotta get one. I can't get anything done and the sun's going down. This is great. This might be self-explanatory, but have hand sanitizer on you. Anything you touch, just, just, just sanitize it up. Any chance you get, just clean, just clean your hands, wash your hands. If you want, you can bring gloves on the plane and then those are easy to dispose of after your flight. I always have baby wipes on me when I'm flying because I like to wipe down the seat, the seat belt, the arms, like literally everything I touch. It's, planes are actually really disgusting. And when we're talking about this, I just wanna give a PSA. Please do not litter. It is so disgusting to see all of these masks and gloves and supplies just, just all around the street. It's becoming the new wave of littering is is masks in, in the street and in the water. Ugh, it's, it, it just really makes me so upset to see. So if you are using disposable masks and gloves, please do not litter. Please throw them out properly. It, it shouldn't be something that needs to be said, but here, here I am saying it and I'm saying it. So I'm saying it, just don't be a litter bug. And my final, and I would say one of my most important tips is to have fun. No, I'm kidding, that's not my last tip. It's to be aware of local rules and regulations, but maintain precaution. Always wear a mask when you're in public places, even if you're traveling to a place like Florida where they don't believe in coronavirus and no one wears masks and there's no local or state regulations on if you can or cannot or should or should not do that. People like to think of some of these trips as a way to get away from COVID and to avoid the restrictions and to just be a little bit more free in the world. That doesn't change the fact that the, the virus does not transform or lessen if you go from one place to another place to my knowledge knowledge, and I'm not a scientist here, but I did get a three on my AP biology midterm in high school. Well, I almost failed it and I had to get a tutor, but I still, pa well, and also the school I went to doesn't accept threes, they only accept fours, so I actually didn't end up getting the college credit for it, but I still took the class and I feel like it, that's not how it works. And that's it, that's all my tips. Now, I've gotta go eat dinner because my mom called me and she's getting antsy and impatient, so, uh, Thanks again for watching. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I would say see you next Monday, but I will see you in two to three weeks when I am a certified interior designer. Okay, bye. Slide into my YouTube DMs. Okay, I'm coming to dinner. Maybe project our voice, just kind of like how I'm talking now. Okay, the second tip is to check federal travel laws. Check federal laws. <laughs> Check federal travel laws. No, we're gonna cut that out. Good. And are you looking into the camera? I'm not there. Have you been <laughs> here the whole time? <laughs> That's okay.